All right, so this is the Space Between Ideas. I'm Blaine Gates. We're at the end of another exciting day working with a lot of people. Uh, my my uh, my schedule is really f- fully booked these days. It's really crazy, actually. Um, I don't know if it's inflation and I need to increase my my price per hour or what, but you know my schedule is ninety percent full. So uh, the last time this happened, I had to increase my price, which is great. Now, if you missed the video from yesterday, then uh, because you know in LinkedIn the it's hard like it doesn't like the video didn't show up as as a preview so you might want to go back to yesterday and watch this uh, presentation about what are brainstorming tools i end off the presentation on this slide talking about the four d's in 4d management coaching so my vision right now is to create a platform where coaches and uh, students can connect and then so then i'll be able to help people become coaches so train people to become coaches give people the opportunity to coach other people uh and probably also there may be people who want to share their own coaching uh techniques not just the ones that i'm trying to to promote uh, namely create crucial insight now the whole purpose of this presentation was to explain what brainstorming tools are so brainstorming tools it's about creating a frame so you can see there's this frame right around this box right here and then within the frame we have vision so what like what's the strategic dimension it's like what's the big vision then capabilities all right so what kind of skills what kind of people what kind of technology like what do we have to work with and then once we understand what we have to work with and what we need then we can create a plan for how we're going to put those things together in order to achieve what we want to achieve, to achieve that vision. And then we put the plan into progress. Now, when we look at vision, so all day long, I've been thinking about this and I've just been like, this vision has come into my mind. So another, another way to use the word vision uh, is, uh, so you can divide this thing called vision into two pieces. One is this thing called state progress. And state progress actually is, uh, well, and then the other is state synergies. And I'm really trying to understand, like, so these are the two things, state progress, state synergies, state synergies, state progress. These are the two halves of this vision. And the interesting thing about it is the more I've been thinking about it, the more I've realized that state progress is very similar to this uh, OGSM. So one of my students was telling me about OGSM. So they're saying, okay, you have objectives, and then the objectives, you're going to have some goals and some strategy. And then based on your goals and strategy, then you're going to have a dashboard where you're going to measure the progress of your actions. All right, so, all right, so exactly. So this is similar to the thing that I'm teaching. So vision, objective is vision, and goal is also vision. And up here, so the vision is really the outcomes that we want to achieve, and how are we going to carry those, uh, you know, outcomes into reuses, to outgrowth is the word that my student used, is the outcome leads to the next step what actions will lead to those outcomes. And then you can see in here where we create a plan uh, where we're building scenarios based on some assumptions. So that's, you know, your goal and your strategy. And then, but also you have your interactions, you have your potential, shaping potential. So this, this nine step is much more robust than the OGSM framework, but it's, ba- it's very, very similar. Um, so I call it the operating system of these these four pieces. Now the other element of uh, vision is what's called state synergies. And when I started really thinking about it, so expanding the range of services, current and new customers, coordination, colleagues, onboarding, providers, vendors, doesn't this sound like the business model canvas? So we have our customers, we have our inputs over here, and we have our product here, and we have our outputs over here. So it's interesting thinking about all these tools because, you know, there's just a million of these brainstorming tools out there. And when we start going into strategy tools, the first thing we see is 